Hi guys, this is Saro. In this video, we will learn how we can create bowling game using MIT App Inventor. So that's the platform where you can create Android apps. Okay, so you just need to log into ai2.appinventor.mit.edu. AI2 okay, so let me show you the demo first. Okay, and then let's create this app. In this game, you have to drop all these bowling pins using this one ball and you have 10 chances okay so for that you have to just click on this throw ball button okay so let me just click on this button and you can see that first and second Great. okay now you have nine chances to this uh, ball for dropping this ball okay so here we go click on start new project and that's my project name is bowling game okay so in this video we will complete the design of this game and in the next part we will create code okay and we will do some code for that game so for that let's create first a start game screen so and to click on layout option click on this vertical arrangement and make this fill parent and then with this fill parent like this now click on user interface and drag and drop your one button okay now click on vertical arrangement and change this background color okay now you're wondering that how we can choose the background color so open your tab and just type here something uh, color play okay so here one website colorhunt.co this will provide you the amazing uh, plates for the color you can choose a uh, combination here that one i love this one so what i'm doing here i'm to select this one copy go to mit app inventor click on custom color and change this color for background okay now go to again and for my button i'm to choose this one this one is light click on this button change this background color click on custom and paste this color here and okay and then change this text to something start game and then change this text color to something white and make sure this one font bold this one is perfect just click on vertical arrangement make this one center make this one center and click on this button make this font size at least 20 and uh, actually, I don't like this one uh, text color. So I'm to make this button background color. I'm to change this background color. Use your burn button and you can see the uh, border option also. You can make it rounded shape and then there is no border option actually. So otherwise we can make a border also. So it will look more uh, more amazing, but it's fine. It's pretty fine. Start game button. Okay. And uh, let's whenever someone click on this start game button, okay so what i'm doing here i have to move in the another screen okay so for that i have to hide this vertical arrangement visible off so go to the block block section whenever someone click on this button one so we have to hide set visible like this and make it uh, false fine now make it visible off now we are in the main screen of this game so let's click on this layout again and uh, click on vertical arrangement drag and drop this make this fill parent and make this with this fill parent now we need your one canvas click on drawing animation drag and drop this canvas here make it fill parent make it this one is also fill parent okay now change this background color to black and drag and drop your at least three image spread okay you can take more image spread okay no problem with that and uh, you can you can use up to an, around 10 image spreads okay and uh, now we need one image here okay and that one is bowling pin click on image spread one and make this height is around uh, 50 pixel or uh, sorry it's if i just make it 100 pixel height and with this i'm to make it 50 pixel so how it's look let me just try click on picture upload file click on choose file so i have to select this ball in one picture i will give you the link of all these pictures in the description and you can just you know search here like let me just if i am not able to give you the link so just what you can do balling pin png 
just search here in Google, go to the this image option and here you will find there are a lot of PNG images. Okay, you just need to click on it and you can see that one is not PNG, right? And click on this one and you can see that one, uh, that one type of uh, background. It means that one file is PNG. Okay, so you have to download this simply. Okay, so that's the way of downloading the PNG image. Go to the MIT App Inventor and it's look pretty fine. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to delete image script 3 and this one also 4, 2 and click on this image script 1 and I'm going to change this height to 50 okay and make this width is 30 so it, it will look more smaller click on this image script ctrl c ctrl v okay I'm using Mac so I'm using a command c and command v and if you are using windows so you just need to press command uh, ctrl c and ctrl v simply right so we have three ball pin, balling pins now we need one button here click on user interface and drag and drop here one button and make this with this fill parent and change this background color custom and I should choose from this one so I'm to use here this one and change this to something here like this and then change this uh, color for text so I am to make this text color to custom again and I am to make it this one like this make it font bold and throw ball simply and make it at least 18 ok and then click on this vertical arrangement and make sure background color should be black fine throw ball and we need here one label to display the score so you can use this label here and you can make this label in the uh, left or right side but for the left and right side you need one more layout click on layout option and that one is horizontal layout and make sure this one layout should be fill parent and drag and drop this here and drag and drop this label beside this one right and make sure this one black background click on label and change this text color to white to display this change this font size to around 20 and change this text to 0 it's looking pretty fine click on text align to center and make sure horizontal arrangement should be in a center it's look perfect fine now that's your uh, chances how many chances you have how many uh, ball left you have that one is throw ball button there is three ball pins now we need one ball okay to drop all these balling pins so we need here one click on drawing animation we need here one ball drag and drop this ball here and make this one color default color and to go to the custom here and you can choose any color okay any color you don't need to worry about this and you can choose green color you can choose any other color no matter but make sure this radius at least 10 okay so it's look like a ball right good fine now you can choose any other color i am going to choose if i just choose from this color how it's look let's just check it out custom custom then paste it this one is looking pretty fine also yeah that's going to um, look pretty fine now that's the design now let's hide this one arrangement it means vertical arrangement visible off on game over and let's design game over screen use click on layout option then again horizontal and make this one fill parent and make this one fill fill parent like this change this background color to something like let me just try this one okay and then user interface make sure there's one button and i'm to make this one click on game over or restart game restart game button okay and make this one at least 20 and change this background color to default black if i just make it black and if i make it text color is white no it's not look good so i'm to choose another plate from another like this one plate so for that i'm to select this one background color for my for my uh, background color screen this one custom and then just choose this one it's look fine and for my button i'm to choose uh, 
this one how it look and let's see but I think this one this will not look good because of uh, similar color in the uh, button maybe well, let's try but yeah it's not look uh, good so what I'm doing here I'm to select this one let's try this one this one just opposite of this background color okay there are a lot of rules of designing you know a lot of rules so make sure you have to at least read some rules so you will you can design more well okay so I'm change this text color to custom color like this uh, no but it's not look fine so I'm to make it this background color to some dark color so what I'm doing here I'm to make it something uh, something uh, no if I just make it something no but it's really really not looking good so I'm to make it white it's fine it's look fine now I'm going to select this one center and this one is also center this one is the restart game button and I need one label here to display game is over but I need here I should use your vertical arrangement okay so what I'm doing here let's I have to choose your one more thing delete this let's uh, how we can display let me just choose this one button and if I just add here game over restart game but it's not look good okay I uh, no so restart game is fine I'm to use here another layout so I'm to use here another one more horizontal or vertical layout like this and I'm to make it here I think you should use a uh, vertical arrangement okay uh, rather horizontal arrangement so I'm to make it this one default color to my orange or something and make this one fill parent and make this one fill parent but this background color is not looking good so I'm to select this one background color to change this custom and then just this one like this and then drag and drop your one label like this and change this text to game over change this text to 30 and make this back not background color I'm to make it text color to white okay and then void to arrangement and make sure this should be center this should be center and you can use game over and make this one height around 30% uh, yeah 30% uh, is too much I'm going to make it 20% and okay it's fine so that's your hand screen okay so it means we have now three screens that one is game over screen make it visible off that one is our main screen like this and that one is our game a uh, start screen fine so we have three screens in our game so tomorrow we will learn how we can code for all these screens okay so if you have some doubt on designing and something and if you want to add some more feature in this game so let me just comment on the video and please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video and this channel link with your friend and family have a nice day be safe bye bye